احنا هو اود لك توك ابوت ذا مسج محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم الله سبحانه وتعالى حاسب القران وما سنا كلا كافه للناس بشيرا ونبيا وش مين ذات ذا مسج محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم فور اول مان كايند بس سم بيبل ذي هاف بيج ميسكونسبشن دي ثينك ذات واز فور عرب اور فور ذا بيبل اوف اوف ارابيا بنيش ولا well some people have a big misperception that the message of Jesus was for all mankind which it wasn't and in fact it still says in what's left of the book you know even though they took some liberties with it and it was written by other people but in spite of, and it's hearsay but in spite of all that it says right there that Isa only came for the children of Israel the lost sheep or whatever of the house of Israel and it's clear in Quran that Muhammad والسلام, was sent for the entire human race and he said it himself outside of, outside of the message of the Quran so this is truly the universal message and that's necessity because Allah tells us again that he sent a messenger to every single people in every single time if we go to some jungle somewhere people that have never seen other human beings we'll find them with some kind of ideology some kind of theology it will be distorted because maybe their messenger was a long time ago they might be worshiping now ancestors or nature or something else but you will find all the same traces something about justice in the hereafter reward and punishment according to your deeds it's almost universal across mankind this is what's left from from all of those messages that came before so uh, in our in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he tells us about the messenger that his voice is authority he didn't mayantiqu an al-hawa in huwa in huwa illa wahyun yuha everything about his life from the time he became rasulullah ali salatu wassalam everything about his life is delivering what allah want him to deliver so if if it was just a personal suggestion he'll make it clear it's a personal suggestion anything else that he teaches this is from allah yeah shab al aziz yeah about the message from muhammad sallam well uh, i don't want to say that I think a brother Yana has explained most of what, uh, what we need to know about it. So uh, <clears throat> the Prophet ﷺ was sent to all mankind and jinkind, and he's not like any other prophet or messenger prior to him, because everyone before Muhammad ﷺ was sent to his people, his own people, his nation, his group, his tribe, whatever you want to call him. But Muhammad ﷺ was the last messenger, was sent to mankind and jinkind, and no religion will be after Islam or no messenger because every other one who claims like Musaylim and others who came in to claim their messengers and they're unless you know because people subhanallah any people will find out who is telling the truth and who is lying and uh, one thing I would like to add here uh, as what the brother had mentioned uh, very briefly most of the people who are in, in, in the East Far East or, or, or the West they think or they say that Muhammad is a son, yeah, he's a prophet, some say he's a prophet, but he's sent to the Arabs alone. And that is not true. Because if you look, go back to history, that's where the people are centered on earth, was in this area. And then they were distributed because after the death of the Prophet, when about 10, 15 years after that, his companions have, have been everywhere. Any place on earth they can go, they went there. And there were no people other than that. Then, people start going to different spots on this earth, different lands, and creating some land for themselves for any reason that they wish. And how, this is how they spread, and this is how the languages came on. But actually, Prophet Muhammad was sent to everybody, and he's a messenger of Allah. And there, there is so much evidence in the Quran, if you look into the Quran, that you will know that he's a messenger and there is no doubt about it. One thing is about the creation of a human being. How could someone in the desert 1400 years ago knows about how the creation, which is a, a, a drop of sperm and then a, a, a flush and then a, and a bone created and so on, and then the soul is being blown into it? Now science has proved that, so that's at least one proof. <laughs>